Hey there and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the lens that I use the most. My workhorse, this is the Tamron 35mm lens. This is the lens right over here. And I've been using this lens for several years now. I use this lens for my wedding work, I use this lens for my commercial photography and family photos. The reason why I picked this lens is due to its versatility. I can use it for portraits, big group shots, and I can use it for fairly decent macro shots. I picked up this lens for $850 after tax Canadian. Right now you can find it for $629 on Amazon. That's a steal. The quality for this lens is excellent, the functionality is excellent and it's everything that I want this lens to be. However, I do have one complaint about this lens. On the side of the lens over here, it's got autofocus, manual focus, switches, and VC on and off. I found that it's really easy to move those switches when the camera is hanging down and rubbing against my body. I personally set the switches to what I wanted, put some tape over it so that when the camera does bump up against my body, the switches don't accidentally get moved and I miss the shot if I can't focus properly. So there's also a new 35 millimeter lens that Tamron has released. It's an f1.4. Let me just give you a quick comparison between the lenses. My lens is Aperture f1.8. The new lens is Aperture f1.4. You can pick up my lens for 629 on Amazon and you can pick up the new one for 1079 on Amazon. My lens weighs 480 grams and the new lens weighs 815 grams. The old lens has 0.2 meter macro capabilities and the new lens has 0.3 meter. The new lens is better in terms of the optics and quality but that also comes at a cost of almost double the price and almost double the weight. If you're looking for the best and latest technology, pick up the new Tamron lens. If you want great value, value and quality, I cannot recommend the Tamron f1.8 enough. If you want to read more technical specifications until you're blue in the face, all this information is online. You can read about the old lens and the new lens and you can decide. For now, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions for content, please leave a comment below. If you're looking for mentorship to take your wedding photography to the next level, please don't hesitate to contact me. I put a link below. Thank you once again and see you next time.